Hey friends, welcome back to another awesome episode. Today I'm staying local near Galveston, kind of near Brazoria, uh, looking to catch some fish, get my line wet, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful Texas outdoors. I'm glad you guys clicked on the channel and the video. We're gonna be using a wide range of varieties today to catch the fish. A lot of it you can buy from shopcarls.com and today's video is sponsored by shopcarls.com. Use my discount code RxAngler10, save $10 off your order. A $25 or more. There's a direct link uh, in the description box below for shopcarls.com. That's where I get majority, if not all, my tackle and fishing needs. They got everything you need from terminal tackle all the way to hats and clothes. I mean, everything you need for fishing right at your fingertips. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling it. We're going to see if we can catch some fish. Let's get right at it. What a nice morning. Got some sustained high winds, but you know we're battling it. We're gonna rough it out. We're gonna see if we can get you a nice video today. See if we can catch some fish at this local favorite spot of mine. And uh, water level is looking uh, pretty tasty, man. <laughs> wow, first fish. Nice, speckled trout. Didn't even feel this guy hit, man. Hey, I'll take it. This area is known for speckled trout, especially this time of year. Nice. Ah, he's not a keeper. Small guy. Nice. Thank you, buddy. I caught him pretty shallow, too, surprisingly. I thought they would be a little bit deeper with the cooler water temps, but sometimes uh, <laughs> they do things you just don't even uh, expect them to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> There we go. Gotcha. That feels like a redfish. Always pull it. Or it could be a nice speckled trout too. A oh, small red. <laughs> Man, these guys, sometimes they feel like trophy speckled trout. I'm not going to lie. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about too. Beautiful redfish there. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Gangsta. So far, we're working ourselves to a nursery slam, people. Hey, I, I can't complain. Beginning of the day, shoot. Catching any kind of fish is a bonus in my opinion. And I know a lot of you guys are just wanting to see the big old fish. And look, I, I totally get it. I totally understand, right? Look, no complaints from me. But the point I'm trying to make is even though you catch fish, no matter what size, you're enjoying yourself out here. You're alive. You're healthy. You're enjoying God's creation. I mean, look at this. Look at this beauty. You can't enjoy this every single day of your life. And honestly, fishing is one of those pastimes that not many people get to do a lot. Well, I, you know, I am very blessed and very lucky that I'm able to do it, but count your blessings. If you're able to come out here and you're able to be productive, even if you're not productive, you know, you're, you're just enjoying yourself, smelling the, the salt air, listening to the, you know, the surroundings, mother nature, birds, splashes, all kinds of other things. I mean, it's a great, great time to enjoy, to be honest. Nice little wake right here. It could be just the wind pushing it, but you know, you always got to try when you see something unfamiliar on the water. It doesn't look right in its place, you know what I mean? You got to try. This house right here is such an eyesore. <laughs> Golly. I mean, I don't even know why it's abandoned. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Not sure. It's always been there. And it's finally kind of like torn down. At least they left an office seat right there. Looks like a nice one too. Leather. Oh, wow. There we go. Nice. Okay, I think he might be my first keeper today. Nice. Take it, man. In the shallows. Just kind of chilling there. Yeah. Nice redfish. Let's, let, let's loosen some drags here. Loosen the drag a little bit. I'll take it, bro. <laughs> oh, 
man, yeah, he's, he's a nice one, man. Maybe like, maybe mid slaughter? Oh yeah, nice redfish. Come in here, son. I'm give it to this guy, man. This guy does not have any quit in him. He's got a lot of fight. It could be that cold water, man. I'm telling you, it just energizes him. Gives him like a second gear or something. An extra gear, rather, not a second gear. And they just pull and pull and pull. And I'm using light action stuff. I mean, this is kind of finesse fishing. But uh, yeah, he's, he's pulling pretty hard. Good fish, man, good fish. Yeah. We got you, buddy, we got you. Good fish. Look at that fish, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice way to start. Big, big, healthy redfish, multi-spotter. One, two, three, five total spots. Look at that guy right there. Hey, man, I take it. First thing in the morning, he got the fins up, man. He's trying to get a picture. Yeah, yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Good man. You're my man. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, we're going to let him go. Let him fight another day. Beautiful redfish. Thank you, my friend. You are famous on Instagram or uh, YouTube. <laughs> Put up a good fight. I know you're probably a little bit tired. Rightfully so. Finesse fishing can kind of tire you out. I don't blame you. You go make some more babies. You're not crooking, so I'm assuming you're a female, right? There she goes. Strong and healthy, man. Strong and healthy. Wow. Starting off in the morning, caught three total fish already, one keeper. Man, God is good. God is good. I am glad to be out here. No sunshine yet. Hopefully it'll kind of peak. It's going to be kind of overcast and cloudy all day. But I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying myself. Hope you guys enjoy the video too. Let's see if we catch another one. Whew, that nice redfish really satisfied the need for a fight. <laughs> that felt really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work the shoreline still all the way around. Just kind of target around two, three feet depth. Hit that mud oyster structure. See if I can see any kind of blow ups or bait movement. Even look for birds working, but I don't see any right now. But it might pick up later in the day when the sun peaks out. But yeah, that's the game plan. Mm. Nice little blow up up there. Kind of probably about a good 60 yards. But that's a good sign. I'm not going to get there on time. It's a good sign on the grass line, too. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully, it'll pick up some. There we go. We got you. We got you, buddy. Right at that corner. Always aim for those structures. He feels like a keeper, possibly. I mean, I'm using BFS stuff and he is pulling me around, so it probably is a keeper, honestly. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a good fish, man. This is a good fish. I can just tell, man. Why they just pulling that freaking drag? And he's not coming up either. It's another red. I don't even know if he's hooked. Do you know if you're hooked, buddy? Well, come on. Show yourself. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Nice. Drag clicker galore. Something make a huge splash over there. I mean, I'm finding a fish and I'm hearing something huge over there. Like, sound doesn't even sound like a bird making a splash in the water. Something huge. Nonetheless, I got to concentrate because just got, oh my god. Yeah, he's going to be mid upper slot on the BFS. <laughs> oh my god. This guy has no freaking give. So I don't even think he knows he's hooked. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious if you kind of think about it. Just don't want him to hit my rudder. That's a serrated knife. <laughs> That'll cut my line through clean. Yeah, this is a monster fish. BFS. Finesse fishing at his best. What you like what you guys don't know what BFS is, it's kinda like crappie fishing. <laughs> but more finesse and more technique, I believe. Oh yeah, big fish. Big fish. I'll take up our rudder here. It's gonna take us anywhere. Woo! It's a nice fish.
be a upper slot red. Oh, he might be close to bull. <laughs> He's pushing it, man. I'm just looking at that girth. My gosh, that's a big freaking fish. Come on in here, bud. We got you, you're tired. Holy crap, look at that fish. Oh my God, that's a big fish. Holy smoke. Holy crap, that's a big freaking fish. My God. All right, guys, when I say this is a big fish, no lie, this is a freaking, dude, this is a bull red. <laughs> bull red in the shallow marsh. What can I say? Good God, that's a big fish. Dude, look at that. Look at that tank. Oh my God, that's a big fish. On the bugs too, flats bug baby. Black and gold coming through. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, BFS, you guys just saw my BFS rod brought this <laughs> tank in. Oh my God. Oh, let's measure him, see how big this guy is. God, what a catch. I'm not touching the ground, all right? So you guys know I'm not cheating. 10, 11, let's see, 11 and a half pounds. 11 and a half pound, that's a bull red. Let's get a quick measurement on the board real fast. Let's get you some breath of air though first or water. Whew. 31 and a half inch, or 30 and a half inch, three zero half, right there. Woo, that's a big fish. Goodness gracious, look at that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there she goes. There she goes. Wowzers, man. What a freaking fight. BFS. My God, that was a lot of fun. Bugs curl tail, old 18 suppressor, all that good stuff. I'll go over it in just a minute. But yeah, fishing this local spot, I knew we we're gonna have a good day. I just knew it, I had a feeling. And we are capitalizing, man. My man, my man. There we go. Right at that corner right there. Right at that corner, right at that corner. Uh, another redfish. Not the big one that we caught earlier. Far from it, rather, but still, that's cool. Way back here in the marsh. Later, dude. There we go. Nice. Spickle trout. What? That's crazy. Back there? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. They're loving this bug still. Not gonna lie. That's crazy, man. It's more fresh water back here than anything. And this guy is kind of lost. Nice fish, skinny dude. Gotta eat some more, buddy. I was saying, you never know what you're gonna catch in the marsh, especially when you go way back. <laughs> I'd be surprised. I, I mean, you know, let me take that back. I'm not actually surprised catching speckled trout back here, even though it's, I would say it's pretty brackish. I would say it's more leaning towards fresh, especially with all the rains that we've been having recently. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. You never know what you're gonna catch. Let's go and talk about the equipment I'm using because a lot of you guys are new to the channel. I am using the All the Baron BFS. This is a new 2022 model. You can get it from digitaka.com. You can use my discount code 72Y, which expires at the end of December. I'm also using the almighty Old 18 Suppressor BFS rod. This thing you just saw caught a big 30 plus inch redfish and you saw how much that pole was bending. I also have a discount code for the old 18, which is RX Angler 20. Say 20% off your order. It's a great deal. Made in the USA. Components, everything is top notch. It's pretty much a custom rod at a very low price. I'm also using Veravus line. I'm also using Veravus PE braided line. You can use my discount code RX Angler 10. There's a direct link description box below. I love Veravus. And we have the Veravus shock leader here. This is 12 pounds. Also, you can buy from Veravus.com. Also, we have here is the, we also have here the fluorocarbon shock line from Veravus. You can also apply that discount code. And last but not least, we, and last but not least, we have the star of the pro, and last but not least, we have the bugs flat. And last but not least, we have the bugs curl tail black and gold. 
this thing caught that big 30 inch and several other fish there's a direct link in the description box below okay i'm at the end of the marsh and man i had a great day caught six plus fish but that's not the point i was able to get you guys to come along the ride and enjoy this beautiful scenery here off the texas coast i really hope you enjoyed the video and whether you're in a qb or at home or maybe even on a toilet all right i just hope you got to really take in the beauty and the, the serenity, the nature, everything that Texas Coast has to offer. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Please, please, please subscribe. If you're watching my videos, might as well just subscribe. Leave a comment. I love every single one of you guys out there. And we'll catch you on the next one.